Good day, all. So how'd I get this from this to here? And we're back, so in case you haven't guessed it, today I'm just doing a quick video on video editing or, and capturing, and for anyone who may not know how, which a lot of people do, but some don't, um, how do you get your old VHS home movies onto a computer? Now, first and foremost, uh, what you'll need is a VHS machine. This is the last one that I have that still functions. Uh, this is our old DVD VHS combo unit. So obviously you'll need that, and make sure that it obviously works. Uh, and there are a few different ways of doing it. Some computers, if they have a capture card, you can plug it directly into the computer, depending on the card. This I've taken, and actually they've gotten stuck here in the drawer. But I've taken just a regular composite video cable, your standard audio video cables, and I have plugged them into a composite 2 USB adapter. And then next you'll need software. Now, Windows does come with its own capture software with uh, Windows Movie Editor, or what are they calling it now? Or, sorry, my apologies. Windows Live Movie Maker, or formerly Windows Movie Maker. I actually used to use that, although I haven't used that in a few years. Uh, mainly because the last version I used wasn't really good for YouTube videos and whatnot. I preferred something that had a few more tricks for video editing. Um, so I've used the Mac for video editing and stuff like that, but the suite that I'm using right here, and yes, I know this is out of date, it's last year's version, I actually bought it about two years ago, Roxio Creator 2010, I think I got this for $80 Canadian or something like that, but essentially this is your full video and audio editing suite, um, and the big advantage of this one is it came with my little converter which originally came in that little box right here so I've been using this off and on for the past two years uh, if you watch my YouTube videos it's been kind of back and forth between the PC and my MacBook uh, but anyway so we have that you now to capture the video and depending on what program and recording suite and whatever you use it'll be a little different but most of you be looking for a little button that says capture video so you want to capture the video so here it comes up, and here I've got some recently downloaded videos. I should also make sure that I've got this turned on. Well, so it should be picking up the VCR momentarily. Actually, I didn't turn it on, I had just turned it off. Anyway, so here you have video. That would be uh, Merkin. That is an old video. Actually, this is uh, my wife's old dog. This video, I believe, is from 1988 that we're looking at right here. I'm actually capturing all of our uh, home videos into a massive digital archive at this point. I've worked on it for the past little while. Um, and I'm obviously quickly running out of space on my internal hard drive, so I'm going to have to move all this off to an external shortly or I won't be able to do much of anything with my computer but anyway so you're ready to capture then there's you can name the file whatever you want and I'll name that in a moment okay. and then you want to select the video type now most of them will go right to digital video but if you're looking to put it on a DVD and it's not high definition video or anything like that just go to on this one it's DVD HQ. What that is, it's MPEG-2, which is a DVD codec. The highest resolution, which is 720 by 480 which is as good as you're going to get with standard definition video. So you start that. Then, just start capturing the video. Start the VCR. And then there you go. And I don't have any sound on right now, but you turn that on. And you can hear the sound in the background. Not a lot of sound on this video. It's just quiet dog and cat playing together. And, and there you go. You can see with the video, it uses up this space rather quickly. But this is actually half the rate it would be if I was doing 
just raw digital video, which is why I prefer to encode all these in MPEG-2. But anyways, once again, there we go. Another quick video on editing video. Well, not really editing. I haven't done anything in editing. At some point, I'll do something on editing. This was just on capturing video. Uh, so that is how to capture your old home videos to your computer and then later to DVD. So thanks again all for watching and I'll see you soon.